Okay, the last piece we're going to talk about in this module is verification and validation testing. It's often called V and V. So V and V testing is driven by the high risk items that you found during your risk assessment activity. So you've performed something like an FMEA, you found that something was a high risk, and you want to make sure that it's not going to be a problem. Okay? So there are really two types of testing that we'll talk about. The first one is verification testing. And in verification testing, you want to ask yourself, do my design outputs meet the specifications that I created? Okay? So that is saying, I said this would withstand a 100 pound load, so I'm going to do a test that I put 100 pounds on it and see if it's successful. The other type of testing you would do is validation testing. This one looks at, did I meet my overall user needs? So I said my user needed a table to be able to do work on. I've created a table. Can they do work on it? So you're looking more at final function. And this would include things like field testing or usability testing. Usually you're going to have to get your users involved to do validation. So if we take a look at some examples from the Camp Riley sailboat team, um, one kind of verification test they did in the design of their rudder control was to figure out exactly what kind of forces will the water put on the rudder. So they came up with a test rig, they attached it to a force sensor, and they got a lot of data. And they put that data into a table, and they put that data into a table, and then they did some theoretical calculations to compare it against. And they looked to say, okay, can the members in our design withstand the loads that we expect to see? So that's a form of verification test. A validation test would be looking more like, let's put our user into the boat and try something out. So in this case, they designed seating for the back of the boat. So they had one of their team members get into the back of the boat, and they tested to find out if it could hold someone in the orientation that they were trying to do. So you can see the difference between a function test, could I meet the specification? I need to withstand a 100 pound load, yes or no, I could withstand it. Versus a validation test, we're looking to say, I needed a seat to hold the user, does the seat hold the user? So there are different types of tests that you can run, um, verification or validation. So recapping this, testing is required for practically every project. You need to know if your project was successful or not, and testing is how you go about doing that. Verification tests, the classic question to ask is, did we make it right? So we set out to make a thing, did we make it right? Does it function the way we expected it to? Whereas validation testing is saying, did we make the right thing? Does it actually satisfy the original need? So verification maps back to specifications, validation maps back to user needs. So that's kind of how you can go about figuring out exactly what the testing needed for your project are. Simply go back to those user need and specification lists you created early on in the project and compare them now to your final outputs. So your turn, what I want you to do is write a short paragraph describing how your team could approach doing a verification test for some portion of your project. So again, verification testing is looking at, did you meet a specification? And then compare your proposed method against any tests or testing plans that are in your design document.